and welcome to our first ever digital event dedicated to mobility. I'm Asha Sampat and today we're going to talk about the future of rail. You will discover new product launches and insightful discussions about the digitalization of rail. Watch our tech showcase, you know, get the big picture and you can also ask for more. Starting with autonomy, driving a train with no hands on the wheel is hard to imagine right now, but that might soon be possible. Amin, so what is Talis developing for train autonomy? In the near future, the train is going to be more aware about its environment and capable to take its own decisions. And very important to make the driving greener. And with our solution, we are capable to run more trains close to each other. Uh, this will drastically improve the system global availability. It is also capable to run multi-applications at the same time. And as an open platform, it enables the use of advanced technology like 5G or cloud, but in a still for applications. This flexibility is enhanced by the new field animal controller, which supervises and control all the equipment in the field. And now to go further with one of the two launches of the day, what is Celltrack about, you know, for people like me who don't know about it? Celltrack is our communication-based train control or CBTC technology. CBTC is characterized by its ability to provide precise train location and continuous bi-directional radio communication networks. A major issue for operators when it comes to rail signaling is to manage and minimize two things, installation and life cycle cost. Our new infrastructure meets those needs by reducing the amount of wayside we need on the track side. Well, next generation positioning is the first step to autonomy and it's going to eliminate track bed equipment and increase reliability. Let's now examine what is at the heart of the system, the operation control centers. So, Jose Luis, tell us what's new about railway network control and supervision. The systems are more and more complex, so data overload is another risk for operators. Thanks to the processing of data streams like video or Internet of Things, the operators can focus on the information that really matters to make the best decisions at the right time. Thales has identified more than 50 use cases. Most of them are based on the uh, code management. We have this new product, uh, which is based on artificial intelligence uh, that provides passenger density on stations, on platforms, and even on board train using the CCTV cameras. The beauty of this solution is that it reuses existing infrastructures and the data, the density is computed in real time centrally at station level or even on board the trains. So there are many benefits and especially for the passengers, they can be guided on the platforms uh, with the platform displays. So indeed, we have designed and tested uh, this new solution with SBST, uh, one of the transportation operators in Singapore. Talking about passenger experience, how can ticketing make the life of passengers easier, Carlota? Well, you know, we are constantly making our Transcity solution evolve to ease passengers' life. And for now, we are offering mobile ticketing. The smartphone replaces any ticket or card. And what is unique in our solution, this is its web-oriented architecture, very powerful. Same technology as the internet giant, so no need to buy multiple tickets for a single intermodal journey. I just need to tap, and here I go. And that's it, I can travel. For the future of ticketing, we are currently working on totally hands-free solutions. The hands-free solution can be installed in the stations with sensors without even touching the already existing devices. Well, that's it. Today we've shown you a brief overview of some content and demos, and I encourage you to visit the Telesmart Mobility website to discover more. Well, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.